to dive into a rabbit hole of epic proportions. Yeah, that's right. From wallpaper to wind chimes, sheets to screensavers, our next guest hold the title for the world's largest bunny collection. So, it all began 30 years ago when Steve bought his beloved wife Candice a stuffed rabbit for Valentine's Day. And you know what they say, <laughs> rabbits multiply quickly. Yeah. The pair join us now from California. Thank you guys for joining us. Lovely to see you. Good morning. Um, so, well, where do we start? How did this collection get started? Well, I started calling Steve my honey bunny when we were dating. And he liked that. And one day, well, for Valentine's Day, I found a bunny that was in a giant balloon. And I gave it to her. And I loved it. <laughs> and so I gave him a porcelain bunny on our first Easter. And then before you know it, we're giving each other a bunny every day as a love token. And we still do that. So this all started with, with love, really, didn't it? The love between you two. And it has grown so much. So the love between you two has grown. And now you've got four, over 45,000 bunny-related items. We do. The Guinness record, the most bunny items in the world. And you're surrounded by all those items now. Have you got any favourites? Oh, no, couldn't possibly. We love all the categories. I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you sort of forget sometimes what you have? Do you every now and again you walk past and go, oh, I bought that in 1986. It's lovely. No. No. In the beginning, Steve would get me what we call dupes. And uh, he's gotten better. He doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but everything is inventoried, so we can always check the catalog. Oh, wow. Candice, Steve, do all your friends and family now just buy you bunny-related items, though? Oh, yes. sure. <laughs> always, always. They know, they know better. <gasps> so do you... So is Easter a good time? Like, are there, are there new, like, bunny items out now? Because obviously, you know, people associate Easter with bunnies. So do you get a chance to kind of browse the new, like, you know, well, bunny sort of summer 2024? Well, yeah, the thing is that most people collect cats, dogs, cows, and teddy bears. And they can go any time of the year into a store and get a cow. But you can't do that with a bunny, oddly. So every Easter, we're guaranteed new items. And after Easter, we go all the stores because things are 50 and 75% off, and then we stock up. <laughs> am, am I right by saying you are? So you've had to move all your stuff into a museum now because all your items got too large for your house. And am I right by saying you are and still the only bunny museum? We're the world's only bunny museum. We're called an encyclopedic museum. We have everything from antiquity to contemporary art. And in our home, originally, the museum was. And it was by appointment. And then eight years ago, the museum moved into a huge building. And we're in an apartment now. And everything is out here. Listen, I've got some skin in the game here. My first ever pet was a rabbit, and I love that rabbit. Do you have any real-life rabbits as well? <gasps> have you got a farm somewhere? Well, what was the name of your bunny? Well, it's in... OK. So, um, <laughs> so it's actually in Irish. It was called Conin Dove, which means black rabbit in Irish. My dad named it. Oh, cute, cute, cute. We have two right now. But we've had 28 over the years. Oh, great. Wow, 28, right. So, and your bunny museum, it, it continues to, like, hold world records to this day, doesn't it? Yes, I purposely submitted in 1999 to Guinness because that was the year of the bunny. And then oddly enough, in 2011, they contacted us and said, would you like to update your collection? And 2011 was the year of the bunny. So we did that. And so then purposely in 2023, we updated it. So every 12 years, we will be updating the collection. And no one will ever beat the collection. <laughs> oh, nice. And you've got some favourite items with you at the moment, haven't you? Have, you? have you got any items that you can show us, like your, your favourites? Well, you asked us, the producer asked us if we wanted to give each other our gift for today oh, on camera, yes. and we'll do that. So we hit our, <laughs> we hit our gifts from each other. Okay, I'll go first, because mine's okay. small. There you go. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's very cool. And with an egg, too. A gold egg. And look at his tail is gold. Look on the back. Wow. Show them on the back. The tail is gold, <laughs> like the gold egg. And it gold around his ears, too. That's cute. That yeah. is very oh, cute. Yeah. Right. That's a vintage box. Let's see what you're going to bring to the party right. now, Steve. Come on. And. No pressure. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, it's it's handmade. It's it's actually um, a pattern. You can that, see the divisions where somebody sold it. That's I, very I, cute. Lovely. You two. You all. Oh. Look at that. I'll tell you I what's it. cute. You two, Cadmus and Steve, thank Candace you so Steve, much thank you. for sharing your story. That is lovely. And, you know, your coll collection you. has grown just like your love there. It's beautiful. Aw. Thank you, guys. Take care. Have a lovely Easter. Thank you. Happy well, Easter. Well, hop on over when you get a chance. Oh, I'd love to. Hop on over. Thank Happy you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Bye. <laughs>